Okay. Uh, this is for Liam and anyone else interested in learning the uh, arpeggiated section um, that on the bass for the desert. Um, first I'll play it a little bit slow, part by part, and then play the whole thing. But uh, first of all, I like to play this arpeggiated bit with a uh, little claw and hammer type thing with uh, you know my thumb playing the root and these two thing the two fingers above it uh, kind of working in conjunction as the arpeggio goes from uh, the root up to the, the octave. So the first section I do hammer-ons um, halfway through or so staying on the same root it then goes to the seventh underneath instead of the octave. So back to back it goes. Now this next part is a little tricky. Um, I play the root here, uh, followed by a little minor run. And it's tricky because uh, it's the biggest jump of the run. So following this section, oops, see, and so it goes from minor to major there, sliding from this root, uh, which is a F sharp, down, or actually, sorry, it's not going to be, actually, it'll be F sharp in the way you do the fretboard, but we play um, tuned down a half step in Corsair, so uh, it'll be actually F, but if you're looking at a traditional fretboard with tr standard tuning, it, it would be F sharp down to a D with major, down to the A, simple uh, hammer-ons again to the octave, and then, so I walk up from the A to B, just for an instance, instant before going down to the G. So again, that's uh, just from, I'll do the section from A to B to G. Okay, so uh, that is the arpeggiated section. I'll play it all the way once through, just so you get an idea. And uh, we play it, you know, the tempo varies depending on how excited we are, of course, live. But uh, I think we were pretty excited when we recorded, so <laughs> um, uh, I forget what the tempo is, but I'll just play it faster. Um, there it goes. Oop. And then it goes to the run, which I didn't quite nail there, but it goes. And that's uh, another little section I could break down, but uh, that's enough for this little one, I think. But the next section has a lot of pull-offs. Again, I'm playing kind of with a claw like this. So if you want to practice that little right-handed formation, it might open up some things in terms of doing arpeggi arpeggios and runs. So good luck. Have fun.